Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogue. I'm Mr. Zaman and today I'll talk about probiotics shown to significantly lower blood pressure. A research team delved into the relationship between high fructose intake and hypertension, discovering that high levels of fructose intake are a significant risk factor for elevated blood pressure. This is a concerning revelation considering the prevalence of high fructose foods in modern diets. Furthermore, the team explored the impact of two specific probiotic strains, Bifidobacterium lactis M8 and Lactobacillus rhamnosus M9 in reducing blood pressure. These probiotics derived from human breast milk were found to be highly effective in mitigating hypertension in a high fructose induced elevated blood pressure mouse model. Over a 16 week intervention, Bifidobacterium lactis M8 and Lactobacillus rhamnosus M9 demonstrated a substantial reduction in blood pressure with M8 lowering systolic blood pressure by 16.92% and diastolic blood pressure by 18.56% and M9 reducing systolic blood pressure by 15 0.39% and diastolic blood pressure by 20.62%. Aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting, explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code or access the link in the description box below. The study didn't stop at observing the outcomes. It delved deep into the gut microbiome and serum metabolome to decipher the mechanisms behind probiotics' anti-hypertensive effects. It was revealed that specific changes in gut microbiota played a pivotal role in blood pressure regulation. Notably, increased levels of Lawsonia and Pyrolobus were linked to lower blood pressure, while decreased levels of Alice types and Alloprevotella correlated with BP reduction. Functionally, the study uncovered reduced pathways involved in base excision repair and D-glutamine and D-glutamate metabolism as contributing factors to blood pressure reduction. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.